Today, class, we are going to do an activity which will go with what we've been learning about matter in mixtures and solutions. Now, we have learned that mixtures are when two or more substances coexist without combining chemically. They remain separate, such as sand and water. You could try all you wanted to to mix the two together, but if you put sand and water in a bottle and you shook it up as hard as you could, the sand would always go to the bottom and the water would go to the top and they would remain separate. And we've also learned that solutions are when the molecules of one substance are spread out evenly and equally between the molecules of another substance. For example, this is what happens when solid um, is dissolved in the liquid, like salt and water. We are going to see today with some of the materials that we have on our desk if we're, we will make a mixture or a solution. The materials that we will be using today are an empty water bottle, some water, vegetable oil, baby oil can also be used, we will be using vegetable oil, a funnel, a measuring cup, and some food coloring, and last but not least, some tape. So first, what we are going to do is we're going to take our water bottle and put the funnel on the top, and we're going to pour in our water. You want the water to fill the water bottle about halfway. Well, that's pretty good. Okay, and then after that, we're going to measure out our vegetable oil. You want about half a cup of vegetable oil to put into your water bottle. So we're just going to pour this in here. And after we've measured it out, we're going to pour it into the funnel and into the water bottle. You can clearly see what's the water and what's the vegetable oil in the bottle when you're doing this experiment. Now you're going to pick a color from the food coloring, and I'll come around and let you pick which color, and I'll let you put two or three drops in your water bottle. I'm going to do the color green. Take it. Put about two or three drops in. Okay. And the color is automatically going to the water molecules. That's what it's attracted to. Now we're going to take our lid and I want you to put it on your water bottle and secure it as tight as you can. We're also going to take some tape to put on the lid. So we can make sure that the lid doesn't come off. All right. Um, as you can see right now, the vegetable oil and the water are separate, but we're going to see what happens when we shake up the bottle. So I want you to take the bottle and shake it as hard as you can, making everything whatever color you put it in there. Mine is turning green. And then we're going to watch and see what it happens. See what happens with the vegetable oil and the water, if they're going to stay mixed or not. You should notice that it appears like the water is like sparkling or something because the bubbles from the vegetable oil are rising to the top. This is why it looks like it's getting lighter at the top and darker at the bottom. The water is staying at the bottom while the vegetable oil is rising to the top. And after a while, if you sit your bottle down for a while, it'll eventually come to look like this, where all the color with the water is at the bottom and the vegetable is at the top. So no matter how hard you shake it or try to mix it, the two substances remained separate. So then, what did we make today with our vegetable and water? Is this a mixture or a solution? That's right, it is a mixture because the two substances did not combine chemically. They remained separate. A follow-up activity that you could do with um, this lesson is to have the kids try their hands at making a solution by um, Stirring sugar and water until it dissolves.